there isn't like any like anything to do at night really anymore. Also, nightlife isn't the greatest to be honest. So what would make Vancouver more fun? Dude, I want to go to more local stuff, like uh, people with like not as big concerts. <laughs> We all wear roller skates and skate it around <laughs> at all times. Right. We made it mandatory. <laughs> Everything closes way too early. Yeah. Everything closes at like 8 p.m. Vancouver's mayor says he wants to make Vancouver's nightlife stronger and build a 24-7 city. For starters, this fall he wants to make a nighttime advocate office at the city and extend bar closures to 3 a.m. on Granville Street. I think it's the right time now to uh, to to fix some of the inconsistencies along along Granville Street. Uh, we already lifted a. Um, uh, an artificial cap on bar space uh, and that's good for the bar owners it's good for the patrons so we'll continue to do that in terms of you know getting rid of red tape and helping people have fun in the city. 25-year-old Ara Gugasian runs a local startup and says the city's social scene isn't yeah, very so, fun. Yeah, if you just look at like what happens on like a Friday or Saturday night here in Vancouver, I mean, people are out till 2 o'clock and then they're getting kicked out of bars and clubs and they're looking for things to do. So if you already see the demand is there, it makes complete sense to me for us to actually increase those times to 3 a.m. During a summer kickoff announcement Wednesday featuring big event programmers, the mayor says a nighttime advocate office would recognize the nightlife industry's contributions. So a, a nighttime advocate uh, would work with uh, all the groups you see here today, but many, many others, especially those who are uh, looking to do unusual things. Some independent event programmers in Vancouver have complained in the past about high venue rental costs, event grants too often given to established organizations, and noise bylaws too restrictive. So we've already talked about uh, noise bylaws with the industry, and, and I think there's some movement we can make there. Uh, we do have quite a, a generous grant program at the city and maybe lots of people aren't aware of it so that would be one thing we could do is to re-examine how we uh, grant in the city. Gagassian likes the initiative but he's skeptical. And, you know there's election coming up in October this just seems like you know uh, a catch-all to try to get youth interested before we, we you know go back to the polls but I think we actually need people that are young that have been to a nightclub in the last decade out there in City Hall representing us because ideas are one thing but execution is a completely other other ball game. In Vancouver Vancouver, Kier Juno, City News.